Uh, good morning, Vietnam. Um, some uh, small thoughts about uh, technology. What is really happening? Uh, what the future is dragging? And uh, all the blah blah that we hear, you know, there is a big difference. I give you an example. Uh, I needed a bank account. I opened a bank account from my phone. Um, the bank has a biometric of my face because I was asked to show my face to the software of the bank. And, uh, and then I have a bank account, uh, very powerful with access to many products. And uh, if I reinstall the software or I change the phone, I just show my face. Okay, I show my face. Yeah. So a biometric. So I never contacted physically any human being. Uh, I never sat in a desk waiting, uh, filling some forms with paper and stamps. And I just did it from my my bathroom actually I was on the bathroom when, when I took uh, this uh, biometric uh, um, photo between bracket yeah, it's their software making a biometric um, footprint of your face and uh, and it's crazy it's crazy multiple service virtual cards physical card was sent in 24 hours you can do para parameters, block this, block wireless, block the, everything you imagine. No human beings, nothing works perfectly. I have no chip in my hand, no mark of the beast. The My phone recognizes my face, the bank recognizes my face. It could be my, in my, my fingerprint, it could be my iris also in the future or something. Now uh, Amazon, yeah, they are having one where you show just the palm of your hand. It recognizes the, your hand, the, the structure of it. And so there is no mark of the beast and it works perfectly. So if some, for example, if somebody has some uh, some health uh, data and, uh, and he's, he's like uh, on the floor, you know, and uh, his data is somewhere on a blockchain or something, uh, they just uh, scan his hand and the hand is a unique signature and they have access to his data. So it, all this blah blah about um, ship RFID and stuff, it's kind of uh, becoming ridiculous. The, the ship was put into animals, you know, uh, and now we have we have phones that recognize perfectly my face. I did it once in the night. I reinstalled the software. I started it. Show your face. I show my face, and here is here is the access to my account. Crazy shit. Uh, so this uh, this ship, like I said, they were put into into the animals, uh, and now with the level of technology, we don't need this ridiculous stuff. Uh, uh, something about this uh, blockchain technology technology it's uh, slowly getting inside when I speak about uh, when I talk about blockchain I'm not referring to Bitcoin or coins I'm referring to the technology in itself uh, which is uh, decentralized where there is not a point where you can you can uh, uh, destroy the, the data because the data is everywhere on the blockchain you cannot corrupt it it's uh, it's protected by algorithms so so it is secured and it is everywhere so the data is secured everywhere uh, I don't think the elite are pushing this technology um, just by themselves uh, I, I really took a lot out of the elite responsibility there are empty shells <laughs> really I'm I'm now very sure that they are following uh, something coming from the future which is the point of consciousness we put in the in the future and they just just fulfill the the, the stuff to go there uh, they cannot help it so this technology 
I don't think it's pushed by the elite just uh, they may push it but they may not understand why it is going there something is dragging it from the future uh, like I said um, if somebody is in the, in the floor of the street he fell and you need to know his uh, data sheet data of um, of his health for example uh, if he has it on a blockchain uh, you just uh, scan his uh, his hand or something and you will access if he has the service for example so all this bullshit of RFID ship it's not needed it's not even needed it's bullshit uh, your, your data you don't have it you don't need to have it on a, on a ship in your skin you know and uh, an and encryption could be uh, a key of opening could be your biometric um, uh, footprint it could be your voice yeah it could be anything you know uh, anything can be a, you can make a profile of any biometric data and have a unique human being um, key key to access to that yeah so this uh, RFID sheet is um, is uh, obsolete it's ridiculous so I said this uh, blockchain is is uh, is secure and uh, it allows um, the network to be very strong the data to be strong I'm not talking about uh, about coins I'm talking about if humanity put books um, science knowledge patents and uh, this kind of stuff on the data you know on a, on a blockchain it becomes very secure you cannot destroy it because you, you would have to destroy all the computers that have this blockchain so uh, somehow this blockchain is making uh, the humanity uh, cataclysmic proof or a catastrophe proof if a meteorite hits one side of the planet and the data of the humanity is in blockchain uh, it will still survive the data will survive because it's uh, shared everywhere uh, to have a uh, big like uh, like music and uh, art and music on blockchain it's it's complicated because you because you will have uh, huge that um, blockchains with the redundancy everywhere who, who would who would like to to keep this uh, this data but to have to have knowledge and stuff it, it is making uh, humanity more catastrophe proof so maybe uh, something is in, uh, in the future is uh, is dragging this uh, this uh, this blockchain technology uh, I don't think the, the elite knows no or they know that there will be catastrophe or cataclysmic event and they are doing it for that I think it's the future doing it I don't say that we're gonna be mud flooded or something but it is very clear that it makes the, the system more solid more solid uh, for now like for the music and the, and the videos they are putting them on storage and uh, if somebody want to own something it is just pointing to a file it is not really in the blockchain they are still they might go to toward this direction with the new protocols that can really uh, make uh, big big data like music in uh, on the blockchain and in this case uh, it's even more and more decentralized uh, even for uh, for the big data the videos and stuff and this is really uh, interesting it is like the new uh, Noah's Ark for uh, keeping uh, this humanity in case uh, uh, something big happens even if a war happened in a country and it's totally destroyed the accountancy and uh, uh, everything that happened will be still available uh, because it will be decentralized in all the other uh, computers or uh, nodes around the planet so there is something very interesting about the black blockchain technology I'm talking about the technology not the the projects uh, on it there is a huge quantity 
a lot of concepts, concept of coins, like people give them value, like now in the financial system, but I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about the technology in itself and it, what it can do and uh, what, is, what it is slowly doing, which is uh, catastrophe proofing uh, the humanity. So this was my, um, my video about uh, the blockchain, possibly the new Noah's Ark. See you next time.